Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, I was about to talk to, uh, this charming looking fellow. Yeah, I already don't like your name. Don't try to sneak past me. I can smell you. Hmm. Do you collect a lot of Geo? Give me Geo, and you can see something nice. As creepy as this guy sounds, he actually does sell charms. Kinda useless ones, if you ask me. Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo. More Geo. Yep. He sells more charms. Except these ones are of the fragile variety. What's that mean? Well... Essentially, once you are killed while it's wielding, wearing these or whatever, they break. They go away. They're gone. Yep. But they do count as charms, so I suppose... Well, I would assume they count as charms. So I would hope that that would mean that... Uh, Freaking person to kiss there would make it so as. Oh, hey! You can get these charm slots. Now, again, they only break when you are wearing them, not just because you die. I was kind of worried about that when I was first wearing them. Not wearing them, but. When I first got them, because I thought that they were going to be a complete waste of money. Ah, uh, that's why we can't go through there. I might as well see where in the Forgotten Crossroads this goes up into. I mostly say this because, I ain't gonna lie, the... Fungusy bits... Oh. This place is giving my eyes a real run for its money. Well, not run for money. What am I talking about? They're causing a little bit of strain. This place can be a touch annoying. I mean, just looking at this place, it's annoying. Lots of little dots all over the place. Bunch of monsters I gotta look out for. And Make sure they don't eviscerate me by exploding me. <sighs> Alright. Oh! Oh, this is right underneath here. This is a long way up. Okay. Hmm. Pardon me once, once more wants to run over to, uh... The lady with all the charms, but I really don't. Oh. Aha! Interesting. Well, okay, less interesting and more... Oh, hey, a secret. Cool. Something this way, too. Oh. Hmm. It's like the second thing I've encountered that has that little shaky, shaky, shaky. Without being able to be broken. Yet. I just gotta figure out what it is that I need to break them. Well, that was close. Unnecessarily so. Alright, I'm gonna just quickly double check what I have equipped it, because... Hmm. I suppose I could remove the long nail for now. I just wanted to stay steady and keep attacking. Wait, while resting, what? Barrel will gain a coating of lifeblood that protects from mod... Oh! It instantly makes some lifeblood. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. 
Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna keep with the long nail. I know that was, like, entirely pointless of me to come all the way back here. Be all like, uh, I'm going to re-equip them and see what I get. Only to go. Nah, I think I'll just keep the long nail. <sighs> well, part of me would be really sad if that's not actually supposed to be acid and it was just water. I don't know. I mostly just think that, uh... Mr. Hollow Knight guy should, does, should get a little bit more respect. No? Also, yes, that was the Thorns badge in effect. When he gets damaged, he explodes like that and BAM! Everything that's in that radius takes some damage. Don't know exactly how much, but it's enough to help. Can't open that. Where or oh where am I going? Okay. Uncomfortable situations that involve exploding. Do I want to know what's making that clicking noise? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Hi. Ah, the tiny steps of a tiny creature. Got the look of an adventurer, so we've much in common. Searching for dangerous places, are I? Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior swords, so she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. No conenaelo. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. Okay. Thanks for the warning, Cloth. Hmm. Hey. I can make that if I'm careful. There we go. Or Geo. I ain't gonna lie, when I was trying to play this before, sections where I had to do that were really annoying. Because, you know, frame dropping. Okay, there's some... Oh. Of those. Hmm. Gonna explode? Yes, he does. I'm almost starting to think that the uh, super awesome coding time would be really nice. The uh, lifeblood coding, that is. Oh, hey. Was there a point in coming over here? Mm. Was there a point in coming over here? Besides of evidently opening up a shortcut. I'd like to think so. I don't know why I did that. I really don't want to have to collect a shade in a freaking area where there's a bunch of jumping off of strange plants. Well, they're not that strange, it's freaking fungi. I'm going to regret following her. But I'm going to follow her. Hold up, but just... Uh. Here ends the Pilgrim's Way. Hollow Nest's heart lays open before you. Proceed onward, share in its glory. You know, if the bridge wasn't out... Well, if I had some sort of wall jumping ability, I'd be able to just wall jump my way up there, but evidently that's not to be for the moment. Which means I need to do more exploring. 
That guy could really take a beating. Give me more Geo. Ah, uh, crap. Huh. Eight. Alright. What is up here? My demise. That is what is up here. Well, it's a fairly nice looking place so far. What's down here, though? Hmm. A switch. I think I know where this is. Open says me, and bam. Shortcut. Sweet. Action. Love me some good old fashioned shortcuts. Alright. Yep. Tis the area I thought it was. Which means I'm not gonna have a very good time because. Mm, uh, uh. Come on. Nope. Stop. Bouncing. those of you that have motion sickness of any sort, I deeply apologize for my inability to seem to be able to use these mushrooms properly. And that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I'm sorry for being unable to use these mushrooms properly. Nope. Don't go down. Ah! Hi, kid. You're welcome. Actually, is there anything else over here? No? Okay. Ugh. Shortcut open. Pathways I can't go. Great. Peachy. Uh, let's heal a little bit. Before I decide to go venturing forth into the land of exploding freaking mushrooms. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. Really hope that there's like a charm or something that makes it so as I'm immune to that crap. Oh! Found the mantises! Found the mantises. Ah, so okay. I think these ones are the more annoying ones. Again, I have been through this part some, and honestly, the mantises aren't too terribly bad. But when you're really not itching for a fight, yeah, that can be a right pain in the ass. Especially when aligned with their freaking flying mantis allies. Seriously, I'm not even sure what the hell those are supposed to be, but never have I seen a mantis fly. What's this? Wanderers seeking death welcome. May you find swift in upon our claws. Oh, good. It's it's only their way of welcoming me. Into the area. That's that's good. I love when people welcome me to the uh, welcome to my doom. Is there anything here? No, uh, that that seems like there should have been something there. Okay, mantis territory. I ain't gonna lie, this is not my favorite place to be. Because of all the places I've been so far, this place has been one of the more infuriating. Oh, sure, one on one, the Mantis Warriors are just beachy. Is that a bench symbol? Oh. Yep. Come on, get over here. Thank you. 
Uh, sure. That was one long fall of screw you, Dar. Alright. It's no problem. It's, it's a piece of cake, relatively speaking, of course. Mmm, I kinda want cake. Actually, I think we have cake. Nah, nah, it's way too late for cake. It's like 3.30 in the morning. Should really not decide, oh hey, I want cake at 3.30 in the freaking morning. Okay, I think this way was the way to the... Bench. I feel like I have to start questioning my sanity every single time that I see a new NPC or something. What's this? Dash Master. Oh, that's right. This is a badge that allows me to dash more. Well, dash more whilst I'm on the ground for some reason. It won't permit me to do so whilst I'm in the air. Can I smash things? Oh! Or this. <sighs> Did that work? Did I kill them all? No? Well, that certainly did the trick. What am I missing? Where is it I need to go else? Well, where else is it I need to go? I mean... Man, I'm far. Well, I'm far down. Hmm. Yeah, whenever I get the next mobility item, I am probably going to spend yet another couple of videos doing nothing but deciding, oh hey, where shall I go from here? Okay, there was a thing I missed. Okay. Dash Master. Bears the likeness of an eccentric bug known only as the Dash Master. Bear will be able to dash more often as well as dash downwards. Perfect for those who want to move around as quickly as possible. Eh, I'm pretty good at dashing as fast as I am on the land, and honestly, that's the only type of dashing that it affects. Ain't gonna lie, do love me that explosion of spikiness. I, 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 get down here. things. Oh, good. I missed it. There we go. Hmm. This wasn't the way? Oh, no. It was a little bit higher. Okay. It's cool. It's alright. Just need to kill that. Really? There we go. And then worry about the Mantis Warriors. I mean, are the flying ones even warriors? Are they sentient? In the same sort of way that I'm assuming these Mantis Warriors are? Hmm. Okay. That's acid. You gotta love when I point out the Obligatorily obvious things like, oh hey, that's totally acid. Ugh. Hate the flying ones the most. Maybe I take that back. I don't know. This is a rather enclosed area to be fighting. Especially something so tall as the mantises. It's like, dudes, how the hell do you live here? You're freaking tall as hell. Of course, it was kind of like asking my old, one of my old, really tall friends that same question. Where they lived. Huh? Come on. Nope. Get down here. Down here. 
Oh, this is the area. This is this is the thing. I need to open that. Whoop. Ow. There we go. Now I can use the other upwards path. Haha. <laughs> I'm sure that that one was easy to kill. Not even sure why. Okay. Easy peasy this time. Less easy peasy with the arrival of you. Okay. Come on. Get up there. There we go. And now we collect. The Mantis Claw. Press X while sliding against the wall to jump again. Jump from wall to wall, reach new areas. Now we have an entirely new vertical game to play. What do I mean by that? Well, now I can go back to that one area where we saw that one larger buggy person and be all like, oh hey, I'm here to save you. As well as quite a few other places. So, quick tip. You can dash off the walls too. You just need to be careful where the hell you're aiming your face. Aiming your face. Why, is, why does it feel like that should be the name of some sort of pseudo ancient angsty ink, band? I can talk. Who oh, am I kidding? I can't talk right now. There's a little... Last I remember it is a little bit jittery trying to work with this stuff. Uh... That was weird. I don't remember that happening. Alright. Uh, yes, let's, let's quickly head back to where I got the Dash Master and see about getting that person out from there. Boop. Let's see, was it this way? No, this was just the safer way to go. There we go. Now I just have to wonder whether or not it is or isn't plausible. Nope, not that way. To... I don't know. There... Around here is where my knowledge of this game stops. Like, I had played a few more hours after this. Where I was more or less just exploring stuff. Seeing what the hell else is in the game. There we go. Just... Make the jump. Make the jump. There we go. Swear to crap with this. This is gonna break the buttons of my controller. Ah. <sighs> All right, this one's this. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Well, I say this is gonna hurt, and it's more this is gonna hurt because if I don't time it just right, it's gonna be spiky doom. <sighs> Hi. Oh. oh, please, don't leave me behind. You, forget about me. I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face. You're so, so... I I'm sorry. I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I... You came here to rescue me, Breda. Girl that everyone just ignores. Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... 
I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody. Sorry, I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town, I mean. I'd better get home. Ooh. Thank you. And yet, the day is saved once more, thanks to the Hollow Knight. Yes. I. And then the Hollow Knight trips over his goddamn feet and lands face first in a big old pool of acid. Alright. So there's a. Ooh, I can head up or down in the Mantis Village. Yeah, I just wanted to get Brad out of there. Out of her pickle. Before moving on. Moving on, moving on. Not. Hmm. Okay. Just making sure there wasn't a thing I could be getting. This one was the. It's all good. You know, save for the bits where it's like, oh hey, here's a boiling lake of acid. Which I almost want to say that I think I could cross over that lake of acid if it weren't for the fact that it is a blatant lie. Maybe less of a lie and more of a falsehood. Game, did you crash again? I think it did. Alright. Well, I might as well end it here then. Because, you know... <sighs> didn't get too much further than uh, that. Unless it's just taking its sweet ass pimp time loading this crap. Yeah, it's, it's just... Um, it's crashed. Hmm. I really need to work on getting this fixed because this is probably the third time in this recording session that I've decided, oh hey, it's crashed. Anyways, I'm going to leave you all in suspense here, figuring out what the hell was down that big old mantis hole. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>